Hey, this is Eric with ProgramWithEric.com, and today we're going back to Aurelia. We're going to talk about how we can configure views and view models in Aurelia and how we can set our own views for it. So before we start, I just want to give a quick shout out. Um, of course, if you don't already know, the Aurelia.io Aurelia slash docs has some really great information. But I found this GitHub awesome Aurelia resource that has tons of information about podcasts, general resources, people's blogs, even has a couple of links to some of the stuff I've done in my interview with Rob Eisenberg. So I'll include this in the show notes, but this might be an interesting, if you want some more information, want some more resources, you could check out this GitHub page. So last time we were talking, we had created a application we are just kind of using the starter application and going a few steps above it. So if we go ahead and load it, just takes a second, we'll see here we have two routes, the welcome route and we created this hi does this work route. And you'll notice if we go into the source and we look at the nav bar, this nav bar was actually a view, but it actually didn't have a view model. In other words, the views are the HTML files, the view models are the JavaScript files. So it had a view but no view model and that's also known as a partial. And the way we were able to do that is if you look at the navbar.html, we use the template at the top, we use something called bindable for the router. So that way we're passing in the router inside the HTML. And then inside the app.html, we close this. And then we have here in the router.bind, we have the router here for the navbar. So that works perfectly there. And then one last thing we did is in the app.js file we made sure that oops that that's actually it. That's all we needed to do. So but let's say we want to create one more route. So let's go back to the app.js file. We're gonna just copy and paste this add a comma and we're gonna call uh, another route called next Call it next. We'll call it next as the title. All right. And so to get that working, we'll go ahead and just copy the hi.js. We'll call that next.js. And we'll copy the hi.html. We'll call that the next.html. And oops, we'll call it, copy the Yep, that should be it. And we can look at the next.js JavaScript file. We have hi, we'll call this next. And we'll just make sure it works. We'll go next.js HTML. We'll just go delete this. Next h2. And we'll go back and we'll run our server again. And we'll refresh. And here's our next wrap. And you can see your next H2 loaded up fine. We'll go ahead and open up the Chrome Inspector just so we see what it's doing while it's loading. So that looks great. So if we go back to, if we go back here, we can go back into our source and we can go to next.js and if we wanted to use a different HTML file or in other words a different view we can add something called get a method called get view strategy and then in the get view strategy we'll return x1.html and we actually can return anything we can even return something in a different directory a different named HTML file or we could even try to go back to the server and get a HTML file from there so it's really power powerful that way so actually go like this all right so now if we don't change the name of it and we just start up the server again we try to load it We're going to get an error 
that next one.html file is not found. So we definitely need it, and you also get an error in the console here. So we'll go ahead and move the next.html to next one.html. I'm going to start the server again. We'll refresh. And there it is. Now it's working again. Now this is actually getting it from next1.html instead of next.html. And so that's kind of nice. We can do something like that and go past the configuration. It's the natural, the convention is to, is that your view and your view model or have the same name, but we can certainly go past that and configure it any way we like. Another way of doing it, we can go back into the next.js file. We can delete this. And we can use import, so we can import use, oops, import use view from the Aurelia framework. And then we can use this decorator here called use view. And then we can just put in the name that we want. And so this makes it a little bit easier. It's not as configurable because we can't put in, we can't do as much. We can't do like a, an Ajax call here or something crazy like that. But it certainly should still work. So let's take a look. And we'll refresh. Yep, there it is. So now we're using that, that decorator instead, which makes it little bit easier and one final thing if you didn't want any views at all you can go into your next.js file and we can import something called no view and then instead of using news view we would use no view and this would just completely bypass our view entirely so we'll delete this out. And if we go back in, let's move back the next one dot html back to next dot html. We'll start the server again. We'll go over here. We'll refresh. Now if we click on here, we get an error because obviously we have no view for that and it's trying to load a view. So that's just some really some simple basics of how to use Aurelia and the view and view models and how to go back, uh, configure it past the conventions. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And also, I do have an Aurelia cheat sheet you can get exclusively if you go and sign up for my email list. So the link's in the description below. Thanks.